Install the motor and ensure the gears are engaged, then install the battery to start the motor. When installing, place the lidar as close as possible to the optical axis of the lens. If the front end of the lens is long, adjust the position of the motor properly to avoid obstructing the scan. Lens labels can be used to record the corresponding lens for each channel. Double-click the motor button to switch channels. Choose the channel color to save the lens autofocus data. If the lens channel light flashes once in a cycle, it means that there is no saved lens data for that channel. Press and hold for 3 seconds to calibrate the lens stroke. At this time, the focus ring is in a locked state. Press once and then press, and hold for 3 seconds to enter the autofocus setting state. Check if the focus ring can be rotated. If it can rotate, it means that the autofocus setting state has been successfully entered. After entering the calibration state, the lens channel will flash twice in a cycle. This is the autofocus card we provide. You can print it out. Stick the autofocus card to the wall for focusing. This ensures that the entire autofocus card is on the same focal plane. In addition, please choose a spacious environment for autofocus setting. Manually rotate the lens to a position close to the nearest focus. Move the device until the autofocus card in the frame is in focus. Pay attention during the calibration process. Keep the motor aligned with the autofocus card's horizontal line. Press the motor button once, and the channel indicator light will flash rapidly. During the flashing, make sure there are no obstacles or obstructions in front of the motor that interfere with the scan. Wait for the rapid flashing to end before proceeding to the next step. After successfully marking the first point, the channel indicator light will flash three times in a cycle. Then move back about 0.6 meters, about one step, and adjust the focus until the autofocus card is clear. Press the motor button once again, and wait for the rapid flashing of the channel indicator light to end. Successfully mark the second point. The channel indicator light will flash four times in a cycle. Continue moving back about 1.5 meters, about 2 steps, and adjust the focus until the autofocus card is clear. Finally, press the motor button once more, and wait for the rapid flashing of the indicator light to end. Successfully mark the third point to complete the marking. At this time, the channel indicator light will be constantly on. Pay attention to the calibration of the third point. The maximum distance between the motor and the autofocus card should not exceed 3 meters. When testing, check the focus accuracy from 4 meters to the closest focusing distance. If it is not accurate, please check if there are any errors in the calibration steps, and recalibrate according to the steps. When there are no objects within the scanning range of the motor, it will enter low power energy saving mode. In energy saving mode, the frame rate of the scan will automatically decrease, and the motor will jump to a depth of 5 meters. If no new objects are detected within 5 seconds of the scan range, it will jump to a depth of 30 meters. When an object re-enters the scanning range, the motor will resume normal autofocus mode operation, 